What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to zoom in the camera when aiming. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprint, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so the first thing that we need is to create a new input action so that when we press the right mouse button or whatever button you want, we can zoom in the camera. So in my case, I'm gonna go to the third person folder, input, actions, and right over here, right click, new input action, and call this IA underscore aim or zoom or whatever it is. And that's it. We don't even need to open this up. We can directly go one folder backwards and open up the IMC default, which is essentially the collection where all the inputs in the thread rely. So let's go ahead and add our new aim input over here. And then if we open this up, we can simply click this button over here and then press any, you know, key in our keyboard or button in our mouse. In my case, I'm going to press the right mouse button. And as you can see, it automatically added. Now you can also go ahead and find it manually, but it's just easier to do that way. All right, save, close, and open up now the third person gadget blueprint. And now let's go ahead and implement the logic that we need. So let's find a spot here in the graph, right click IA underscore, let's do like aim, expand this, and we go. We have triggered, started, ongoing, cancel, completed, and a few more. So in this case, we are gonna be using started and completed. So when we start, holding the right mouse button and then complete it when we stop holding the right mouse button as simple as that so we can actually go ahead and add a print here to say start and then we can go ahead and put it completed here to say stop and now if we go ahead and hold we can say start and then stop okay so it's at the top left of the screen as you can see start holding i stop holding okay Simple as that, this is very obvious, but I wanted to show you guys just in case you're new to input systems. All right, so with that done now, what we need to do is essentially zoom in and zoom out our camera. So we'll move the camera forward and then the other way around, right? As simple as that. So over here, let's go ahead and open up the viewport because we can see all the components, including our camera. Now, what we need to change is the camera boom. As you can see, this component is what essentially just joins the character with our camera. And we have this very nice value, which is the target arm length, okay? So this is essentially what we need to change to change the distance between our camera and our player, okay? So with that said, let's go to event graph, okay? And get the, uh, sorry, the camera boom. And then we need to say set arm length or set target arm length. And if we put in here, well, right now it's at 400. So if we put in, for example, half of it, 200. As you can see, when I hold this mouse, it goes forward. But it is super clunky. There's no transition, no smoothing. And we basically kind of go back. It's just super ugly. <laughs> so we need to do a few modifications so this improves. Let's go ahead and just unplug this and put it to the side just for now. And let's add one very important thing so we can smoothly interpolate from the value to the next one so what we can do is get started and add one thing called a timeline i've made a video on timelines if you want you can check it out but basically we can transition from a value to another with a smooth um you know and smooth interpolation let's name this aim zoom camera i will turn it this and let's plug this into play and then the complete it into the reverse okay because what we can do is essentially just reverse it back to where it was Right, when we stop holding the right mouse button and then I start it, it will continue to go forward and play, you know, forward like it is. So let's double click to open up this timeline, add a new track. Let's do float track and let's put in the name of, you know, um, arm length distance. And now we need to specify the length. So the duration of this transition, the, you know, quicker it is the quicker it's gonna be <laughs> obviously right let's put in like 0.2 now you might think that's a bit too fast maybe trust me in unreal engine those values feel very good for the player 
game or in general for games. So let's try out with point two. If now we can modify it at any point. So let's right click, add the first key, which will be at time zero and value zero. And let's right click at any point, add the second key. And then for the time it will be point two. So that's at the end of our length, as you can see. And then the value will be one. Okay. So always our timelines will go from zero to one. Let's click on these two icons so we can see the um, you know, exponential, um, oh, not exponential, but constant, uh, you know, inclination here, and it's just easy to see, okay? So, with that said, we get this new lerp, um, well, this new value. So, we can use lerp to transition between two values. If I hold left control and move this to the alpha, we will essentially transition from A to B, okay? So, this will go from 0 to 1. So, 0 will be A, 1 B, and we'll see the transition. So, the trick is that I can put here on the update right and we'll update the camera boom okay to whatever this value is and we can go from 400 which is right now to 150 for example or 200 with this as you can see when i do this i zoom in and i zoom out <laughs> and that's it it works now of course you can change this to be a bit faster sample 0.15 get this and move it there or even uh, in the middle. So, for example, yeah, I think 0.18. Yeah, 0.18 will work. So let's put in the time to be 0.18. That's it. Okay, as you can see now, it's a bit faster. And it's perfect. Now, we might need to also move the camera a bit to the right. Because right now, he's zooming in into the center of the body. And we want to, you know, make sure that the player is not like in front. We want to go maybe a bit to the right. So there's another thing that we can do, which is, of course, the socket offset. If I put here in the Y, you know, 50, as you can see, the camera moves to the right. And if I do this, there we go, it moves uh, like that. Now we can do this um, just by default and have always the character a bit to the left and the camera a bit to the right and it zooms in perfectly fine. But one thing that we can do is just change it when we aim. Okay, so that will be the socket offset. So once again, I can simply set the socket offset. I can right click on here and split everything. So we have the individual values, value, sorry, and then copy and paste. Plug the alpha here. This will be for Y, we said, and then it will go from zero, which is to 50. All right. As you can see with that change, we go from here to the right. Now, one very last thing that I want to do is increase a bit the height of the camera because when we zoom in we come closer to kind of the lower body i want this to be on the upper body so we can do exactly the same with the z and actually maybe we plug this in directly it will work because i think 50 will be good in value and there we go yeah we zoom in now if you want to change the value you can just simply copy paste make another alert here z and put in you know um, 30 instead of uh, 50 so it's not so much or you know, whatever it is. In my case, I think that um, 40 will be pretty good. Um, but, you know, oh, also we need to <laughs> move this to the alpha. Sorry. So maybe 30 was a good number. Always remember that the, you know, output of the timeline will be the alpha because that's what we are transitioning, right? And then the A and B will uh, be the actual values. So there you go. I think that's literally perfect. We have a zoom in and zoom out. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it. If you got the video, subscribe to my channel. Join my Unreal Club if you are serious about learning Unreal Engine 5. And now, yes, with all I said, bye.